even writing up to that point had been my refuge, became a huge source of anxiety as I struggled to regain my inner strength. My writing is very personal, and I absolutely refused to merely form some semblance of approximate of appropriate witchiness. In order to maintain the pace of my work, instead, I seriously considered giving up writing altogether, as I sat for what for what seemed like endless hours in front of my computer. Starting at the half pa- paragraph I'd been able to type, desperately trying to muster up some kind of inspiration to keep going, I found it impossible to express what I needed to say. As time went by and, and the grieving process continued, I tried to find ways to make peace with the situation. Taking a sabbatical from writing was the most logical course of action, at least until my muse decided to return. I did find comfort in fellow Llewellyn author Christopher Hughes' Hughes's book, The Journey into Spirit, a pagan sp- perspective on death, dying and bereavement. His expertise as both a coroner and head of the of the Angles, Anglesey Druid Order in Wales, as well as his personal stories of loss and its aftermath, really helped give me a new perspective. And for that, I am truly grateful. However, as my coping skills for dealing with the grief I was feeling grew. Another problem was beginning to rear us ugly head. Personal versus public. Witnessing the state of the online world over the previous few years had really made me want to limit the amount of work that I put out. I think that for so many people, artists, writers, actors, designers, and so on, Our work is very personal to us, and each piece falls somewhere in between one of our own children, and a part of our soul is laid bare, so we can quite protective, so we can be quite protective of it, letting our little birds fly free from their nests. Only to be see, uh, only to see them shot out of the sky before they even have a chance to at uh, life is a difficult possibility to accept, but one that we all have to learn to handle. What has become overwhelming for me is the growing trend of vicious personal attacks, foisted upon people for no apparent reason. When when did this become acceptable? There is a vast difference between constructive criticism and defamation of character. I've been fortunate in that very little vitriol has been aimed my way so far, but seeing the abundance of unwarranted hate spewed as fellow authors or actors or any other creative individual has really given me pause about the nature and scope of my own work. It all paints a rather grim picture of the current condition of humanity. Since I was at such a vulnerable place in my personal life, it was taking a great deal of energy to even attempt to to re-emerge into the social arena. Even the simple act of going online and seeing so many people posting attacks 
against one another was enough to dissuade me from interrupting. Logging on to social media for ten minutes would upset me for the rest of the day, so I took a month off and considered a permanent retreat, but eventually changed my mind. After much soul-searching and compilation, I have come to realize several things that have allowed me to rebuild my sense of self and purpose in order to continue my work and move forward as a more empowered individual and witch. It's my hope that by sharing my voyage out of the doldrums, others might find a faster journey to safer shores. Thank you for another reading. Blessed be.